Uh, thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer, and I rise as yet another uh, non-member of the Finance Committee. Um, this is uh, quite a complex bill, and one of the ways you can decide it's complex is by looking and realising that approximately three-quarters of the pages in the bill actually form the schedules. And uh, my suspicion always is that if government wants to hide something, you put it in the schedules, not in the bill. Let me just give you a little example in uh, looking at uh, Schedule 5 of the 1998 Scotland Act, uh, which I was doing earlier today, and I refer uh, to Section B3, uh, which is about elections. I have discovered today uh, that, in fact, we have the power in this Parliament to hold, run elections for members of the House of Lords because the only things that are excluded from our powers are elections to the House of Commons, the European Parliament and this Parliament. That is why we can organise local authority elections and by implication we could also organise elections as a lot. It's unlikely they could take their seat, but that's another matter. But if you want to hide difficult things, sometimes the schedules is the place to do it. And maybe Neil Finlay and I might uh, bring a private member's bill forward to organise elections to the House of Lords, or maybe we won't, uh, maybe we won't bother. But on the matter of uh, taxation, oh, he's woken up, uh, presiding officer. On the matter of taxation, I think the... I will, yes. Neil Finlay. If we did that, what would Lord Stevenson's official title be? Uh, well, there have been two Lord Stevensons already. Um, one of Cobbenham, whom we no longer talk about as the uh, uh, chair of HBOS, and the other, a distant relative of mine, whom I'll pass over as well. Um, but let me start by congratulating the government and bringing forward this complex and, uh, uh, but rather comprehensive uh, piece of legislation which clearly is getting uh, consensus support. But more fundamentally, let me congratulate parliamentary colleagues of all parties uh, for a committee report that I can only describe as pellucid uh, in its delineation uh, of the issues. It is a good rattling uh, read. It covers the issues extremely well. I want to cover one or two of them in the time available. Um, first of all, on sub-legislation, uh, I sit on that committee, Subordinate Legislation Committee. Um, the government has a very good record in responding to uh, what that committee says, and I'm encouraged uh, that uh, we'll be looking seriously at whether it should be negative or affirmative procedures for a number uh, of the powers that are in there, and I hope that's uh, picked up. Now, in the matter of sub-sale, um, I, of course, not sitting in on the discussions of the committee, haven't perhaps caught the full nuances of the discussions that have been. But I do think there is a case for having a taxation regime where there are concurrent sales, sales of a big bit and then dispersal to smaller bits, that as long as the revenue is derived from the big sales uh, rather than the small sales and therefore the revenue is protected, um, that we should make sure that we don't exclude uh, the possibility of such uh, uh, sub-sales uh, being inhibited. Uh, we don't want them to be inhibited by an appropriate tax regime. Avoidance generally is something that uh, troubles me. Um, if a company uh, owns property, and of course the shares in the company are traded, the risk is that that falls outside uh, the taxation provisions uh, because company law is essentially a reserve. Um, it, it has a more general uh, application as well in that much of our uh, property and land is owned beyond the boundaries of Scotland. And I think the Danish uh, situation where you cannot own property or land in Denmark unless there is a local representative, that is not to inhibit ultimate beneficial ownership being outside Denmark, but there is always an accountable person who discharges ownership responsibilities within the boundaries of that state. And I continue to think, as I have for some time, that that's uh, uh, something we should look at. I think when we... On that point? Yes? Jamie Hepburn. Given that that is the situation in uh, Denmark, does the uh, member not consider the suggestion that was posited by some organisations that uh, the requirement for charities first of Scotland to register here being onerous is somewhat ludicrous. 
Stuart Stevenson. Um, I haven't read the detail, but certainly that was my initial reaction. I'm confident in the committee in uh, uh, dealing uh, with that issue. Uh, it is, of course, possible for charities registered elsewhere to represent themselves as being charities in Scotland, even though they're not registered in Scotland. So I think there are wider uh, considerations we need to uh, take account of. Um, but the bottom line is that uh, tax avoidance is always a big issue in any taxation system. I look forward to the tax management bill. I hope that when looking at tax avoidance, we're able to legislate, and this is why I was looking at Schedule 5 of the 1998 Act to see if it would be prevented, um, that we're able to legislate that it will be, the test will be the intent rather than application of rules, which can always be uh, gone round. So I wait and see with interest. Registers of Scotland are a very important uh, part of uh, the implementation of this. Uh, I first crossed their threshold in about 1962 in my pursuit of uh, family uh, research. Fifty years later, we have the world-beating computer systems that give access to the real records, practically no other jurisdiction in the world. So they can do it uh, with the right incentives and the right application. They have the potential to do it as they have done there. Overall, presiding officer, uh, what the process of this bill thus far on the behalf of government and on the behalf of the committee demonstrates that there is as yet untapped competence and abilities in this place, which I hope in future to see applied more widely uh, to more taxation issues, but more fundamentally to the whole range of powers with which a normal independent country would grapple. We have the skills. We now need the opportunity.